So this is a brand new chapter in Newcastle United's history. Probably the biggest chapter in the 130 years that we've been around. Eddie Howe's first match in charge, Newcastle against Brentford. And you can't make it. He's got bloody COVID. Well, from this Eddie H to you, Eddie H, get well soon and uh, all the best. So I've got no idea what the score's going to be today, but I'm predicting a 3-1 win for Newcastle. Before this game kicks off, let's have a look at what happened before I got here. Well, it's about 20 to 1. It's all a bit quiet at the minute um, on the away fans' front. There's nobody in O'Connor. They've banned the away support, or certainly for today. They were telling us, um, I think it was the Tottenham fans who were near here about three weeks ago, they, they were carrying on a bit and smashing bottles and stuff. So they've banned uh, football supporters in O'Connor today. So I'm opposite um, Victoria Comet and it looks very quiet on the outside, but I'll take a look, see if I can find some Brentford fans. Well, I've just went inside the Victoria Comet and um, there's nothing obvious going on in there, so I've got no idea where they are. Well, I'm a bit gutted, really. I can't find um, where the Brentford fans are. I've seen a few kind of scattered around in the odd pub here and there, but uh, sorry about that. You tell me what the score's going to be today. I'll hold that. You Ten. Just... Ten what? No. Who to? Bees. To the bees. Yes. You're going to beat Newcastle 10 nil? Yes. Ah, I do not think so. Yes. Maybe it's 9 nil, but not 10 yes. nil. You have a good day, yeah? Yes. Thea, you tell me what the score's going to be today. Um, I think it's going to be about 2. 2 what? 2 nil for Newcastle and 0 nil for Brentford. So I've just bumped into Ian Smith, who's also got a YouTube channel. Ian, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, interesting day today. Obviously, Eddie Howe not here, so that kind of... We were talking about this last night on my channel, we were saying it sort of feels like the wind's out of the sails a little bit, but I think overall the plan's in place, they've trained on it for two weeks, and ultimately I think we're still going to be all right. I think, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll win. I agree. I think, uh, I think I'm going to go for a 3-1 win today. I think the players will be right up for it. Yeah, I think the players will be up for it. I think I'm a little bit more cautious than you. Uh, um, I think that will win 2-1, and I think it's it might be a bit edgier and nervier than most people are hoping for, but I think we'll get it done. Look at that! I mean, as Eddie Howell's not here today because he's got COVID, so I reckon 2-1 win for the Bees. Yeah, we, we need a win. We lost four in a row, yeah, yeah. so I'll jump on that. 2-1, last minute Tony winner, back against Newcastle. Uh, <laughs> surely, reckon... surely he's got a little bit of revenge in him. Uh, Hannah Wilson too. Uh, Julian, I'll get one. 3-1 Newcastle. Wilson's hat trick. That's that. 3 0. Wilson hat trick. Right, so the day we play Brentford, what's the score going to be, Harry? It's going to be 2 1. 2 1. Who's Callum Wilson score? and Fabian Shaw. I think 3 1 Newcastle. 2 0. Joel Linton, come on! <laughs> Newcastle, 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 Newcastle,
you believe it? Tony's just equalised. About 30 seconds after they've scored. Yeah, 2-2. I think we're quite lucky to go in at 2-2. Um, we've been tore apart two or three times about watching the same game as everybody else. Uh, for this three-man defence, I think it's left uh, Matt Ritchie a bit exposed in the back. I don't think he's had a good game for me. Uh, Joe Willick, he's had a poor game. He's been flattened around in the middle of midfield. And maximum for me has been a liability. I think it'll be fierce. I think the maximum will be phased out of this team, you know, at the risk of getting some um, slagging off comments, but it's been poor. On the flip side, Joe Linden, he's played like he did against Leeds, he's been just a man possessed, he just... Right there, he holds right, you know, if he can find the, the way to unlock Joe Linden. He's got a hell of a player on one hands, he's just been, he's been brilliant. Today, John Joe Shelby's had a good game for me. Um, but you can tell, even though I think we're a little bit fortunate, for me you can tell just the intensity that we've played out, we're pushing up high, we're trying to play out from the back. It's obviously early days, there's going to be some mistakes. But yeah, that's my observation so far at half time. He might have to do something with the formation, because Matt Ritchie for me has been, he hasn't been good enough. I think I would have preferred Isaac Hayden in the set down with, um, with John Joe Shelby instead of Joe Willick. That's just my opinion, but uh, what a first half and I'm really looking forward to the second half. Just seeing the replay of uh, Ivan Tony's goal, I couldn't see me, um, I couldn't see because I'm at the opposite end of the pitch, but Carl Diallo was completely fluffed far up. Can I believe it? Three, I don't even know where to start with this. <clears throat> I said a couple of videos videos ago, even under Eddie Hill, that we had probably had a 50-50 chance of survival. This was a game we had to win. You know, Brentford were coming into this, so I think they'd lost four off the belt or something like that. They come away with a draw, you know, that's bitterly disappointing. Um, I'd put us at 60-40 going down now. I think we're bottom of the league. Having said that, I think the second half was a slightly improved performance but we still had two or three players who were playing well below par. Sean Longstaff was awful when he came on. Carl Darlow had a shocker today. Just maximum. Um, although his general play for me was quite poor. He, uh, he scored one and he nearly scored another. Just that's the type of player he is. Ryan Fraser, I thought he did well when he came on but bitterly disappointing. We had Arsenal next week. That's going to be a tough one. I was going to do a second video for the uh, when I do the away supporters, but uh, although Brentford, I think they brought their full allocation, of, um, I, I couldn't find them. They're obviously scattered around the city centre, so it'll just be the one video. If you liked it, um, I hope you did. You know, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Help spread the word, and uh, catch you next time.